Next thing we're going to talk about is efficiency. Um, we all know the egos are, gr are great efficient. I never realized that you could shoot an entire case of paint through the vise on a full 68-4500 fill. You can shoot an entire case of paint. Don't believe me? Here's the video. Down here is behind me. We got 23 pods of paint, and hopefully you can see this. But we filled this tank up to about 4100 psi. It's as much as we're going to get. And as you can see, loader is empty. So what we're going to do is we're just going to keep shooting it and see how good efficiency we get. Alright, here we go. 5-1. One. Okay, and the next thing we're going to talk about is on the field, the, the uh, sound signature between both the guns, okay? I'm going to give the advantage of sound to the vice. The vice is a quieter gun. When you shoot them side by side, the ego is definitely a lot louder. Um, I don't know if it has to do with the volume of air near the valve chamber. I'm not exactly sure why, but the vice is definitely a lot quieter on the field when you're shooting them. Here's a video of them shooting side by side. Definitely yeah. Okay, now what we'll do is we'll tackle the uh, the subject of the stock ASAs. Okay, the Bob Long comes with a really nice lightweight ASA. Um, it's just a basic screw in ASA. There's not an on-off. So I will give the advantage to the Planet Eclipse of uh, they've got a great 
on off ASA here. Now something, my personal preference, I do not like hoses sticking out of the side of the gun. I don't know if maybe Planet Eclipse could ever come out with an ASA where the fitting comes out the bottom. That would be kind of nice. That way you don't have your hand. Um, as you can see, if your hand is off the, off the thing, it will stick it out about another inch. You know, paintball's a game of inches, and by having the macro line out to the side, as opposed to in front of it or maybe even below it, may not be a bad idea. Um, but, uh, but still, great ASA nonetheless. Um, next thing we're going to talk about, too, is the rail. Okay, now Planet Clips gives you a great ASA. There's no reason to upgrade your ASA. But we'll give the advantage to, if in, in terms of customability, I'm going to go ahead and give this advantage to the, pro, uh, to the vice because the vice does have a nice milled dovetail already in there. So if you have a different ASA that you want to slide right on, you can definitely do that with a vice. And uh, and it works great. So that's uh, that's definitely one, one uh, you know a plus one for the vice. Next thing too is let's talk about length and size. The vice is smaller than the ego. So hopefully you guys can see. Um, part of it has to do with the uh, the ego LPR cap sticks out a little bit further than the vice does. Also the ego has a snatch grip, which is a plus one for the ego. It does have a nice snatch grip to hold it. But uh, hopefully you can see here that. Uh, the Ego is longer, the Vice is a smaller, uh, a smaller, more compact package than the Ego. You can definitely see the difference when you put them side by side. The Ego is easily, easily about an, probably about an inch and a half longer, so the Vice is a little bit of a smaller one. And we covered the, uh, the snatch grip on the, uh, you know, on the back, I do like that with the Ego, it makes it very comfortable to hold. Um, next thing I'm going to talk about too is the trigger guard. The, um, the I know I know some people that you know got some bigger fingers. The ego's got a pretty decent amount of trigger guard room in here, but I am going to give this advantage to the vice because the vice certainly has a lot more um, a lot more room in here to get your fingers in there to walk the trigger. Uh, the ego 08 ego, you can see the trigger guard is a little bit smaller than the uh, than the vice. I'm just going to flip this over here. Okay, grips, um, this is all a personal preference. I mean, the Ego 8 comes with great sticky grips. They feel good when you're playing all day long. Your hands are getting sweaty, covered in paint. These sticky grips feel good. The, uh, the Vice uh, comes with a nice flat panel grips. Uh, Bob Long came with these new Lion grips. They work really, really nice. Great grips. Um, colors and customization. Bob Long's always been more of a simpler type guy. His, you know, they do have a, a, a custom color kit for this, but it's not really released yet. Uh, Planet Clips Ego. You know, if you guys are playing, you guys got matching uh, matching color, uh, colors, matching guns. Ego has a great CCU kit. Gets everything to match up really nice. Um, so definitely, customization is definitely going to Planet Eclipse. I mean, they've got all sorts of stuff to get these guns. You can make them look exactly how you want. Very unique. Um, and the next thing I'm going to talk about is customer support. I've dealt with both of these companies many, many times on sending in broken guns and stuff like that. I have personally seen, I don't know if it's maybe because Bob Long may be a little bit of a smaller company than Planet Eclipse is or what, I have seen the turnaround time on the Bob Long. Sometimes it's generally between, uh, I want to say between three to five days, depending on how much you ride Joe to get it done. Planet Eclipse, maybe about a week, week, week and a half. Okay, so both, uh, both companies have got phenomenal customer support. Call in there, they got somebody picking up the phone as soon as you call in. Great, great guns. Now, here we go, we're gonna go ahead and sum this up really quick. Ego right now, on Action Village, I've seen them, $1,250, okay? The Vice, right off of Bob Long Direct, $750. It's a $500 price difference between these two guns, okay? I'm gonna sum up the, the, the thing here. It's, it's almost like a, uh, a Subaru WRX twin turbo versus a Porsche, okay? Both guns, performance-wise, phenomenal performance. One, if you look at, you know, if, 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 if the Ego is just out of your budget, you can get the Vice and never look back. The Vice is a phenomenal gun. If you're a Bob Long fan, check out the Vice. Phenomenal gun. But the Ego does come with a very high price tag, $1,250. Basically, you can get a Vice with a loader, with the tank, with a mask, with a pack, with pants, with the jersey, with elbow pads and gloves, and probably even entry for that price. So the Ego is an extremely expensive gun. If you have the money to get the Ego, go ahead and get it. It's a great, great gun. Jackwood has made a phenomenal product and they're getting better every year. Good job, Planet Eclipse. If you're looking, if, if, if the Ego is just out of your price range, you're, you know, you're not playing paintball unless you're actually on the field playing paintball, go with the Vice. Vice is a phenomenal gun. Phenomenal gun, $750, it is an absolutely phenomenal gun. Hopefully this answers any of the questions, man, you cannot go wrong with either one of these guns, but this, this, this review has just been a blast. Email me if you have any questions, thank you.